Local rap artist Ray Deezy is out with his latest EP, No Love Lost 2, Red Wine, and Reefa. I sit down one-on-one -on -one with the local artist for a special edition of Quentin's Close Ups. And be sure to download the free Quentin's Close Ups app in your Apple or Google Play stores. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Ray Deezy. How you doing, man? Good, good, good to see you again. All right, all right. Yes, sir. Welcome back to Quentin's Close Ups. I know last year I interviewed you about your EP All Balls Down. Yeah, from All Balls Down. Yeah. And just recently, I was reading this in the city paper. It says this from Hip Hop Ray Deasy. And you obviously you had an event Saturday, April 20th. Mm -hmm. But it reads this Everyone deserves some re re relaxation at this time after a long day. People in Dungeon Hobby watching mindless show for too long are, in a gullah rap, Ray Deasy's case, pour a glass of red wine and smoke a little green. <laughs> What is it like to be you these days? <laughs> well, um, it's, it's rather interesting. Um, I just try to take my time and move easy, you know, and have a good time. And we all should have a good time, and we all should be calm and enjoy our day and enjoy ourselves, you know. And just take it easy. Take it easy. Yeah. And I know in this uh, article from uh, Heath Ellison from the po uh, city paper that this, it says this, in honor of his fatal way to unwind and cope with the stress of the daily grind, Deezy named his latest EP, No Love Lost 2. Red Wine and Reefer. <laughs> yes, sir. What got you from All Bowls Down to Red Wine and Reefer? Well, um, you know, I just, you know, it's my true self. I just wanted to just keep showing my fans, like, more of me, you know, more fun stuff. Like, I don't want to be serious all the time. I wanted to show them on When It All Bowls Down that I can be conscious and I could be aware of what's going on in the city and let them know what's going on in the city. But this, this go around, I just wanted to have fun. That's have, all. Have fun. And you said this too, quote, we're not telling people to go out and mess yeah. up. Yeah. And you say basically we deal we deal a lot with the day to day everyday struggle. Whether it's work, school, you just want to calm down. What are the struggles you have to deal with now? Um, well, you know, um, I don't get to see um, my children as much as I um, would like to see them, but you know, due to the kind of relationship that I have with their mothers, but you know, that kind of bothers me a lot. And then it's the day to day, you know, with just trying to get by, you know, the bills and you know, just trying to stay above water. But but, um, but you know, we're making it, and we things are gonna be fine. But we fine. <laughs> it also says this too. Obviously, you said this. You wake up and it's like, I don't want to go to work today. I don't want to go to school. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying like those are the motions we all go through. Sure. We going. We're going to go to work. We're going to go to school. Right. But we all wake up like, oh man. I mean, let me go ahead and do it. I got to get this money. I got to take care of this. You know. So that's why I'm at. That's where you are. And obviously, the article goes on to say this when exploring his emotions. DZ's latest will divert into songs about depression and self-hate. You said this quote, the mental health, that's talked about a lot and it needs to be talked about more. What else should we talk more about when it comes to mental health? We should talk about how you shouldn't be afraid to talk about it. You shouldn't be afraid to tell people like how it makes you feel and how you're feeling as well because that, you know, that comes with depression, anxiety, or a whole list of other things. Mm -hmm. So you have to talk about it and express yourself. We all need somebody to talk to, you know. I do that through, through my music, but I'm telling my listeners, hey, there's nothing wrong with therapy, there's nothing wrong with, you know, talking to that good friend of yours, talking to head off. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. Beyond that particular issue, what else should we be talking about these days when you look at your community? Um, well, as I spoke on, when it all boils down with the right. gentrification sure. and all of that, um, it's, a lot of that is still going on. Um, and then there's, you know, the political activity. There's a lot of that going on too, but you know, they're not letting the, the black side in. They want to let us in so they can win their little campaigns and stuff and all that and, you know, shoot their lives. But it's, it's, so, it's so deeper than that. I think that people just, just pay attention to that and just get out and be aware of, and let these folks know we see what you're doing and we don't like it, you know. What are you aware of now politically? It's just like, oh man, how much time you got? <laughs> <laughs> um, it's just so much. Um, just being black, period. You just have to be aware. You have to be uh, woke and just let and, and just be aware of what's going on around you, because it's it's all kind of destruction and death and, and racism. Racism is still very much alive, still very much alive, and that's what I deal with every day. Every day. <laughs> if you were to put gentrification and, and these political issues into an album, what would be the title of each song? <laughs> the first song would be um, "Invest." <laughs> The second song would be um, Save. Mm. The third song would be Invest Again. And um, let me see the fourth song. They'll probably be talking about how they need to just keep expanding and the knowledge that they get from 
um, real estate and expanding um, their wealth. They need to share that with the children and the next generations behind them. Just keep it going. You know, we don't want to make it a trend. We want to make it a, you know, a generational thing. Generational thing. Yeah. How do you keep going two, three, four years now as a musical artist? Um, it's really something that I, I have a passion for, something that I really love. Um, it's, it's not so much, you know, a money thing like how most folks do. It's, it's, it's a fun thing. It's my fun time, you know. It's my fun time. It's my therapy. It's my chance to chill, relax. So I love making music. And um, I'm meeting a lot of new artists around the city. And uh, we're about to collaborate and do a lot of good things and set up a lot of shows and f functions, you know, so. Collaborating with new artists, which, is, which artists relates to you musically? Um, like locally or yes sir okay um I have to say Benjamin Starr and um for the for the ladies I have to say Queen Cat oh yeah yeah I love the way she raps I love with both of them I love the what they're talking about again you know they're conscious but it's not it's not boring it's like it's you know it's witty they're saying some things you want to hear and they're keeping you entertained you know so I like I like what they're doing and I want to work with them and how about B Killer? Would you work with her too? Yeah, yeah. I'm actually reach out there. I like what she's doing. Yes. I like what she's doing. Her and um, all the ladies. There's a lot of ladies around the city doing their thing on sure. the mic, man. Sure. You know? So I'm all for that. I'm all for collaborating. Collaborating. Yeah. And how do you keep this energy going two, three, four years from now in your mind? Um, I just can't stop. I don't think about stopping at all. Like, like I make beats. Like, even if I wanted to stop, everybody around me does music. So it's like, you know, we're always into it. It's like, hey, DZ, you got a beat for me? You got a chorus for me? Hey man, let's go to the studio tonight. You know, so it's, it's always gonna be with me. So I can't, I can't not, not stop doing it. You know, so. <laughs> That's really great to hear. Well, Ray DZ, thank you so much for your time. I really, really appreciate this. That's always, always, always a pleasure. Likewise. Always a pleasure. Yeah, thank you greatly.